you went to church today? I don't know. I'm going to church. I'm seven days. Seven so days. you went to church today? Why are you put a video? I'm not. Did you, my did phone you phone go to church today? Yeah, today. Yeah. What did you learn today? Uh, about the seven days. What about it? You don't know what it meant? No, what about yeah, seven days? Hold on, wait, come, huh? Son, 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 mommy, son, 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 son. Son, son, son. Right. Let me ask you a question. Are women allowed to wear pants? What is that? Are women allowed to wear pants? Mm -hmm. So why you do it? The pants? Mm -hmm. I just like it in like... So that, if, if... Is that something good? No. Give me Deuteronomy 24 o'clock. Let me show you something. What is the religion? Huh? What is that? We are, we are God's chosen people. We are the sons of Israel. You are too. The daughters of Israel. You, what you say from Haiti, right? Mm -hmm. How did your people get to Haiti? How did Haitians get to Haiti, the land of Haiti? When they were when they were conquered by the French, or they were enslaved by the French, how did they get to that island? By boat, by ship, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to ask yourself, what were you being called before Haitian? Haitian was not always the nationality. You guys were called something else. You would be from the tribe of Levi, according to the Bible. That's read what you got. I'm going to read one thing. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Right? Y'all from IT? IT? Read, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, from verse 5. Yes, yes. Join, join. <laughs> look, look, let me ask you a question. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? I want to show you something. Read what you got. Done. This is the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 22, and verse 5. Tell me what this means. I want both of y'all to tell me. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean? <laughs> what do y'all think that means? <laughs> Read it again. Come on. The sister understand it. You said it doesn't mean you anything? You can't put on a man's, a man's garment. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh huh. Neither a man, neither on, shall man. a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Am I allowed to wear a dress as a man? If I'm a man, can I wear a dress? No, it's not if you want to. If I want to? That disobey. Yeah. But what does God say? You believe in God? I do. Who, who comes first, God or yourself? God first. So if God told you to do something, why would you do what you want to over what God told you to do? But it's not only one thing, you, but you did a lot. What do you God, mean? Okay, sometimes God don't. God tell you don't do that, and then you just do it. Like what? That's, don't that's lie called, to someone. That's okay, called, you never lie? That's called being okay, rebellious. You never lie? Before I knew the truth, absolutely. Be before, before, before I knew the truth, absolutely. I did bad things all the time. But when I knew better, when I knew God didn't want me to do those things, but you I know, stopped um, doing God it. God say nobody is perfect here, right? That's not true. Give me Job 1 and 1. Like Did, you're perfect. Let me, hold on. No, just a question. Can, can we be perfect? No, you can't. Give me Matthew 5 and 48. I got you. Watch this. Can, hold on, hold on. Can you be perfect? Are we allowed to be perfect? No, we're not. All right, watch what, watch what. Does, is God a liar? Is Jesus a liar? Watch this. Yes, I, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yes. Give me a Ezekiel, give me Ezekiel chapter 16, 11 and 16. 16 and 11. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 48. <laughs> Be ye therefore perfect. Say it again. Be, Be ye therefore, therefore perfect. Why would Christ tell us to do something that we can't do? Why would he ask us to do that? Read it again. It's not easy. No. But, but why would he tell us to do that but, if we okay. can't do it? You know, he say like, even you, like, put the correction with someone, and then you you don't have to, like, put any correction with anybody. No, that's not true. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Read this again. Watch this. Hold on, hold this on. This the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Watch this. See? Be ye therefore perfect. So this is Christ speaking. He said, be ye therefore perfect. Read on. Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So he wants us to mimic our Father, which is in heaven. This is Christ talking to the people. I'm going to show you what it means to be perfect before you leave. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. Give me, oh, you can stay there. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. What does it mean to be perfect? Right? What does it mean to be perfect? If Christ is telling us to be perfect, what does that mean? What does that mean? I got you. That's a good question. Mm. Read what you got. It's the book of question. Psalms, chapter 19, and verse 7. And verse 7. Uh -huh, read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Say it again. The, the law, law of, of the, the Lord, Lord is, perfect. is perfect. So how do you become perfect? That by doing what God told you to do. The laws and the commandments that are written in this Bible are written for a reason. It's written for your understanding and your learning. Now, that's good, right? So some things you said you don't do. You don't eat pork. You keep the Sabbath day. I agree. But I'm just trying to bring you closer now. You do half of the thing. So it shouldn't be hard for you to make that extra step because God wanted us to do all of these things to be perfect. So when we talk about man being perfect, has God ever created a man on this earth perfect? Huh? What'd you say, sis? Hold on, wait. What'd you say? But did, you, but did God ever create a man to be perfect? Has anybody been made perfect? 
in God's creation. What you think, sis? What you I don't think? think nothing. You don't think God made anybody perfect? No. What about you? Would you say the same thing? You think he made somebody perfect? Or he did uh, not make anybody perfect? Book of Job, chapter one. Hold on, wait, hold on. Oh, one, wait, one, wait, one, wait, more, one, one more, one more, one more. One more, one more, one more. Just hear this, hear this. Wait, this is book of wait, Job, hear this, chapter hear this. one, and verse wait, one. Wait, hear this. There was a man sorry, in the sorry. land of Uz, whose name was Job. And what? And that man was perfect. And that man was perfect. Absolutely. We can answer all those questions, but you but leave you, it every you, time you, you ask one. You ask questions, but we can't even answer them. <laughs> so we have to go. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. sister. All right. Be safe. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Not to talk bad about the sister, but the sister, that's kind of, that's what you would call like a light woman. Bro. Yeah. You can see that she's kind of just, uh, here's what it is. And then, and then you got, look at Satan. Bro. Satan come immediately, don't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satan come immediately, boy. Yeah. The scriptures get planted and Satan gonna come and uproot that. Right. All the time, it never fails. That's what's gonna happen, right? Give me Matthew, give me Mark chapter four and verse 15. Cause that's the problem. That's the problem, every time. What's going on, sis? You know we gonna mess with you, right? What's going on, how you doing? I'm in the Give us two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> what about when you come back? After you come out. Come back. All right, all right, all right. no problem. All right, give me, Matthew, give me Mark four and 15. Come on, this is the book of Mark chapter four and verse 15. And these are they by the wayside, mm -hmm. where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. It's like when they see people listening to the word of God, Satan won't come and try to uproot that word. And it's not, it's not that that person is trying to do it maliciously. It's just the way Satan works. That's how you know what we're doing is a good thing. Because how many times has that happened? Well, we're trying to give we're trying to give them understanding, give them the proper guidance, give them the things that they need to understand, and then here, here goes Satan. Boom. Let me try to uproot what was just planted. That's not good in the sight of the most high. These things are not good. Give me Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. Alright? Because these things are important, the scriptures that we teach them, man. What's going on, sis? How you doing? Good to see you. I got a question. Y'all believe in God? Yes. I have one question before you. How do you love God, sister? The sister wanna hear the question. She wanted the young child wanna hear. How do you love God? You, you believe? What scri the scripture? I got one. Can I show you one scripture though? Can I show you one? Okay. All right. Okay. This is the book of Colossians, chapter one and verse six, mm -hmm. which is come unto you so, as it is in all the wanted, world. You want um, uh, vain philosophy? No. Oh, just the mystery. Read what you're talking about. Twenty-six. Yeah, twenty-six. That's what I call, right? Or he no? said he said he was reading six. Oh, this is the book of Colossians, chapter one and verse twenty-six. Mm -hmm. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, yeah. but now is made manifest to his saints. Right, the, the truth has been made manifest to the saints. Right? The truth is in the earth. The book is open, man. And they don't want to get the knowledge of the most high while the book is being open. But there's gonna be a time where the most high take takes this thing away. That's right. Man. Thank you.